Efficient Math Teachers. Today I'm going to show you how to just do a basic worksheet setup in PowerPoint. Um, before I had new PowerPoint, I used Word. Um, and as a geometry teacher, it made life really tricky because the um, images and the text boxes and the wording did not always work well, um, especially with so many graphics that we use in geometry. So PowerPoint um, helped a lot in making life easier. So I'm just going to show you a quick setup for that. Um, the first thing I do in PowerPoint is just open a blank presentation and it always pops up for me at least with these pre-made boxes and I don't need those. So I just do control A to get all of them and then I delete it. And then I need to set up the sizing. So I go to design and then slide, si slide size and then custom because we're not doing a PowerPoint presentation, we are getting ready to make a printable. And so for a portrait, I do eight and a half by 11, which is the printing page size. Um, and obviously landscape, if you would like a landscape one, you would do the same except for in the opposite um, dimensions. When you have nothing on your screen, it doesn't matter when this pops up if you do maximize or ensure. Um, that is helpful whenever you have some things on your screen and you are trying to adjust the size. So I have my full size page here. And one of the first things that I like to do is to create just a border around the outer edge of my print, print space. Um, so I'll just go to recent, I mean, just to sh insert shape and um, I choose the rectangle and I just drag it down here and then adjust to fit the size of the page. I try to give myself about a half inch on each side, um, which will allow me to stay within the printable area and not get cut off when it's printed. And then I do no fill. And I just do a quick little black outline just to give it a little extra, um, I don't know, character, um, design. Then I need a um, name spot. And this is very personal in your preference. But um, for me, I just insert a text box. And then I write name leave some blanks and then date and then I will um, this automatically at least on my program sets it to Calibri in an 18 size I will generally switch that to century gothic and adjust it down to a 12 or a 14. the writing size between a regular 12 space is a little tight so I can adjust the spacing to a 1.5 um, and then I can leave it like that or sometimes I'll add a little extra by putting a box around it to kind of give it, I don't know, that extra design element. From here, um, if you have directions, you know, you can just put them here. When, you know, whenever you need to type, again, if you need to adjust the size, oops, that did not have my text box highlighted. Um, and then you can adjust them to wherever you need to. Um, then I will create like a number one. Uh, then from here, you can move this anywhere you'd like. If you need to create a number two and scoot it down and you want them to be the same height, the same distance from the side vertically, you can shape, hit a line, click it to a line left and it'll line them up. And that's all for today. Have a great day.